Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we're doing a Walmart video because there's some new blaster boxes on the shelves at Walmart. Heather sent me a text and said that she found a freshly stocked Walmart. And I'm going to slow this down because she went through here pretty quick. So let's go slow motion. You can see there's lots of different boxes on the shelves. Now, hidden amongst those boxes, there's going to be Elite Extra Edition and Gallery boxes. And um, I'm going to have her grab those. You can see them down there on the third shelf down at the bottom. Also, a whole bunch of stuff. Bowman Platinum, Mosaic, Archives. Lots of stuff to choose from. She picked me up $150 worth of blaster boxes. We're going to go and open those up right now. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Now let's see what we can find. All right, everybody. It's time to open up all these cards from Walmart. There's some new stuff on the shelves at Walmart this weekend. We've got Elite Extra Edition Blaster Boxes that are out now, which you'll see here. We're going to open two of those up, and they're going to have two hits per box, two autographs or two memorabilia cards. There's also the brand new Gallery Blaster Boxes. This is my first time seeing these on the shelves anywhere. Before, I'd only seen the Monster Boxes with the two autographs. So we'll check these out as well and see if there's anything good that you can find in those, and then just to uh, round this out at the 150 budget mark, we've got a Heritage High number and an Archives box as well. So let's go ahead and get started here. Thanks for being here, everybody. I really appreciate it. Hope everyone's having a nice day today. I hope you can check out our Saturday showdown that we did a little bit ago. If you love Bowman's Best of Bowman Draft, there's a whole bunch of good autos coming out of there you can check out. Um, had to go matinee style for that one, so that one was posted earlier in the day if you missed it. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Brian is our... Patreon member of the day, so to speak. He's the uh, sponsor of this video. If you'd like to sponsor a video like this one, check us out on Patreon. We sell all of our breaks spot exclusively on Patreon. There's a link in the description. You can also just Google Join Jab's Family Patreon and find it that way. We also have a channel membership option as well. But anyway, um, this is Topps Gallery. We've only seen it in the Monster Box version. There's seven packs in here. Four cards per pack, 28 total cards. Jacob DeGrom is the cover boy of the box. Here's all of the odds. If you'd like to read through those and the no purchase necessary information as well. So let's see what we've got in here. 2021 Gallery. Typically, Gallery is not a very popular re release, in my opinion. Just from years past, it's kind of sat on the shelves for a while and doesn't move that fast. Now this year they overhauled it a little bit and made the cards nicer to look at. Take a look, you almost have trouble determining if that's a real photo or a painting. And these are paintings and they are quite uh, quite good. We got a printer proof parallel of Nelson Cruz there, not numbered, Randy Rosarena, and the last card is Christian Pache. That's a rookie card. The rookie card logos are kind of tough to see in this. They kind of blend in with the border, but rookie card logo is there. And then I think I'll just, since there's only four cards per pack, I'll just do this entire box at once. I think tomorrow I might try to get out and do a flea market video or a baseball card store video. I haven't done one of those in a little while. Monday's Mystery Box Monday coming up. I hope you can check us out for that. I think I've got like six different mystery products to open up for you guys. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And let's see what we've got coming up here in the rest of this box. Not that many cards in the box. Only 28 total cards. You could literally just have made this into a fat pack and saved a bunch of, uh, I guess, packaging material. But we've got a Brady Singer nice rainbow foil card it's not numbered Ozzy Smith we've got Mike Piazza there's a printer proof of Bobby Dalbeck I'm not sure how rare those are that's already our second one so far it might say on the side of the box we've got the MLB originals insert I do think these are pretty cool they take a card and they make it look old like it's from maybe the 30s or 40s Ken Griffey Jr., that's a nice one. Auctioned off his autograph the other day, a 1986 auto. We'll be doing another auction soon, probably on Sunday or Monday night. I'll keep you posted. Just make sure you turn on your post notifications. You'll get notified whenever we do do those auctions. There's Key Brian Hayes, Christian, not Christian Pache, Ronald Acuna Jr. with the, uh, I'm trying to figure out what the tattoo is on the neck there. I think that might be Calvary with the three crosses. We've got 
Ryan Sandberg, and there's Kirby Puckett as the last one. So nothing too crazy in the gallery blaster box. We will have some autographs and or relics coming, that's for sure. I guess we'll just do those next. We'll do the new boxes first. First time on the channel opening gallery uh, blaster boxes around here. I did the monster boxes a couple times. I think I've done two monster boxes in did a new release preview video. I did one monster box for that. And then I did a Walmart video right around the turn of the new year, like January 1st or 2nd. Picked up a monster box in, box in that haul. The monster boxes are a lot more expensive. They're, I think they're like 80 or 90 bucks. Can't remember the exact price. They're around there. But they are expensive. But you do get two guaranteed autographs in there. Now, unfortunately for me, the... Four autographs that I've pulled weren't the greatest. I mean, I guess the best was the Josh. We did get a Josh Bell autograph, so nice to find a veteran. But the other ones were of the uh, Geraldo Perdomo type. All right, let's see what we can find in our second box. We've got a Byron Buxton printer proof card, which those seem to be about three per box, maybe more. There's another one. Corbin Burns, your Cy Young Award winner. They Once again, those printer proof cards aren't number bobby dalbeck rookie card there's Dion sanders we got masters of the craft that's a nice card right there steven strasberg and jd martinez andrew vaughn printer proof we're up to three already and look at this we get an autograph a logan gilbert autograph how about that brian i wasn't expecting that what are the odds of finding an autograph in gallery Usually takes me a while to find gallery autograph one in 88 packs. So there's seven packs a piece. You're looking at maybe one in 12 boxes or so. That's pretty good right there. Brian, congratulations. Logan Gilbert hit. He's a nice prospect, young rookie pitcher with the Mariners. That's a good hit right there. So it looks like Heather picked you out some winning boxes there at Walmart. Let's see what the other ones hold. We're going to have at least five hits in this. There's a modern artist card, kind of like the 51 design and Joey Gallo. That's kind of a cool card right there. Art by Josh Trout. I wonder if that's any relation to Mike Trout. All right, now we're moving in. We're going to get some more autos and relics right now. This is the Elite Extradition. You saw us open the hobby boxes. The hobby boxes are $100 a piece, and they have 10 hits in there, 10, uh, 10 autographs, I believe, right? No, it's eight autographs and two relics. So eight autographs for 100-ish. This is two, but it's 27. So I don't know if this, I don't think this is quite as good a deal. 27.48 on the shelves at Walmart. You can see there's blaster exclusive pink parallels in here. There's literally like five cards in here, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's one pack. Does it tell us anywhere on here? Here it is. For some reason, they want to put the, this one little pack in this big, giant blaster box. Five cards, $27 if you see this on the shelves. And I bet you will. I was seeing this last year on the shelves for a little while. It's not a super hot seller. But we've got Brady House, the Nationals' number one overall pick in the draft. That's out of $9.99. We've got Carson Williams is our first hit. Next is going to be Ruben Ibarra. And uh, Ruben Ibarra was what? A Cincinnati Reds prospect, if I'm not mistaken. That's his autograph. We saw him in Bowman Draft. Ruben Ibarra, nice one right there. We got Ryan Spikes from the Rays out of $9.99. And Angel Cruz is the last one. Let's move into our second box. So we do have three hits already, which is pretty cool. I'm hoping we can find you a Henry Davis autograph or Marcelo Mayer autograph out of this. Henry Davis, the cover boy right there of this box. Let's check out the second box and see what we can find. These uh, blasters don't take long at all to go through. We got Khalil Watson out of $9.99. Doug Nikhazy from the Indians is going to be the relic. And the autograph is going to be a Tyler Madison out of two thirty-five. So it seems like the collation in those packs are one auto, one relic. We got a Daniel Lantigua out of 21. Nice low number card there. And Cal Conley pink is the last one. So Elite Extradition, and, uh, probably the Ruby Barra for my money is the best hit. We're going to move on now. We've got Heritage High Number. And in this, we'll be looking for short prints. And hey, maybe we'll find another autograph. Wouldn't that be something if we found six hits from a Walmart retail run here? 
Yeah, Heather sent me a text. like, hey, they looks like they just fully stocked this Walmart. And um, she sent me a picture and she said, see anything you want there? And I saw that there were some Elite Extra Edition boxes hiding it out there. And I'd never seen those before. And I double-checked and saw the gallery boxes were there. So I was like, yeah, get me $150 worth of stuff. And then definitely make sure you grab two gallery and two Elite Extra Editions. And um, this is what you got. I do like the Heritage High number. It's a pretty fun rip. 1972 tops design this uh will be the featured blaster this month on patreon um and next month i put in a big order i have a lot of cases of 2022 tops coming now the thing is i don't know exactly when they're going to arrive sometimes with retail they're a little behind but i do have a whole bunch of 2022 tops available for everyone on patreon uh it's all going to be a matter of when it comes in i think right now the release date is February 16th, and sometimes the uh, the retail stuff comes a week or two or even three after. So sit tight, folks from Patreon. I do have you covered with a whole bunch of 2022 stuff on the way. I'll, I also ordered Fat Packs. So those are back in Series 1. They didn't do Fat Packs in Series 2 or Update, right? I didn't see them anywhere. Just Series 1 last year. But those are coming back again with uh, 2022 so i have those i've ordered a few cases of those for the 99 dollars tier folks and i also ordered some hanger boxes as well i love hanger boxes i always take a hanger a whole case of hangers and i put them aside for myself i've got a hanger case of 2019 update put aside for myself i've got a hanger case of uh, series one and series two from this past year i don't think i did it for 2020 i don't know what the heck i was thinking so far we haven't really found anything in terms of uh, huge hits, I mean, we do have some nice rookies here and there, but uh, also short prints would be numbered on the back, numbered 701. So we got a Lewis Brinson short print right there. 701 to 725 are the short prints of Heritage High number. You saw 700 right there. That uh, is not a short print. Typically, it's about three or four per box. We got a second one right there, Daniel Johnson. Let's check out the rest of these. There's Daniel Bard. Talk about a comeback player. Man, Daniel Bard took like eight or nine years off of baseball and then came back. Josh Bell just kind of lost the zone there and um, just retired. Luis Gonzalez. There's Colin Moran. He got DFA'd by the Pirates. Kind of surprising. Garrett Whitlock. I like him. Got Gary Sanchez. Anything else of note in here? We'll check and see if we have the short prints again. Not even a chrome parallel in this box, unfortunately. We get kind of a bad box here. We also have one more box to go. It's going to be the Archives box. I do like Archives, and we have had some luck in Archives before. We pulled a Dylan Carlson numbered auto, rookie auto, out of a Target blaster box a few months ago. And the odds of finding that were like one in like, I don't even remember, super tough. Here's our short prints in case you're wondering. Lewis Brinson, Daniel Johnson, and Kristen Stewart. We'll put those there for Brian. And it's time for our final box of this Walmart haul. It's the Archives box. Featuring all kinds of different designs in here. But uh, I don't see these on the shelves too often anymore. So I don't know if they're drying up or what. But Archives is usually one of my favorite releases of the year. We'll see what we can find in there. You see a Mickey Moniac 2011 Tops design. Cody Bellinger 2011 Tops design. I'll, I'll be interested to see what's going to happen with Mike Trout's prices. It seems like his rookie cards have all been going down. At least the base ones have. I remember paying $1,500 for a bunch of PSA 9s of his rookie cards, and I think they're around 1000 now. Even the PSA 10 has come down under 3,000 a bit. As everything just continues to slowly drop in the world of PSA and graded card land. Anyway, let's see what we've got, Brian. Here we go. Justin Verlander, 57 tops design. And you got the 83 tops design, the 62 tops design there. There's another 57. Kent Herbeck. The big head card. And then you got the 2011. Now, they make the 2011 look a little different. They put gold foil on it instead of the silver foil like the original 2011s. I guess so that pe people don't get confused. Nice show, Yotani 73. 
He was the number one overall player on the MLB Network's top player list. We've got a red of Liam Hendricks. Nice. Anytime I see red, I think out of five. That one's out of 75. Not too bad. Wish it was a nice rookie. We'll take it. There's Adalberto Mondese and Mike Yastrzemski sporting the mustache there. We'll get three of these in this box. It's the 1989 Topps Big Design. A-Rod is the first one. Nice picture there of A-Rod. That's like a circa 94, 95, 96 pick somewhere in there. Early A-Rod picture. And that picture as well. Young A-Rod. We've got Akil Badu, the 91 Bazooka Design. Juan Soto. I wouldn't be surprised if Soto is the number one on that list at the end of next season. I think Juan Soto is absolutely fantastic. We've got Torrey Hunter there. He's up for the Hall of Fame. I think he's he might even fall off the ballot this year. Jacob DeGrom. I really hope to see him healthy for the whole season. I know the Mets fans do as well. Randy Rose Arena, Rookie of the Year. has had two good seasons back-to-back. 2020 season was basically one month. That's why he was still eligible for the Rookie of the Year. we got Alex Kirloff is a nice one, 89. Every time I see these cards, I just want to go out in my garage and open a box of these because I think I have a box of them out there somewhere, maybe for a uh, throwback Thursday at some point. I don't know if we've already done that or not. They used to be $5 a box, but now everything's a little bit more expensive, as you know. We're going to wrap things up here soon. We do have a blue Esteban Floreal Tops big design, and Alec Bohm is going to be the next to last card. Dalton Barr show, actually, the last card. So, Brian, thank you very much. Congratulations on the five total hits, two relics, and three autographs. Not too shabby. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys like this Walmart video. It gives you an idea if you see the Elite Extra Edition on the shelves or the um, gallery boxes on the shelves. You know, you know what uh, what you're getting into there. Not too bad. We did pretty good today, I think. Got a gallery autograph out of there. That's pretty good. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. The Saturday Showdown, we already did it. If you're looking for that later tonight, sometimes we'll do that. A lot of times we'll do that like 10, 11 o'clock late at night. But we did it much earlier today. So check it out. It's already on the channel. We did that around lunchtime today. So you can go back and watch that if you want. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.